All right, guys, welcome back to Fog Football, bringing you all the latest Scottish news, transfers, and results. This is a transfer news video, Neil and we can still not go. Neil Lennon, yeah, Neil Lennon hanging on to a job by his fucking dirty, stinking fingernails. Get those things cut. But anyway, Aberdeen, speaking of cut, they've cut ties with Sam Cosgrove. He has left Aberdeen and he's went to join the enemies down south. He's went to join Birmingham. I don't know why I said the enemies. Fuck it. Every team south of the border. They're all cunts. But Sam Cosgrove has joined Birmingham, the land of um, kebab meat and shit. And uh, aye, he's joined them for £2 million. And yeah, so I don't know what I make of that. Aberdeen there, I can't really say I agree with this uh, deal. They've, they've signed arguably, I think, their two best players this season. So Scott McK well, yeah, Scott well, the better. I off. think it's sad that a team like Birmingham, who let's face it, guys, freak of shit, or shit, and just or shit. Shit club, shit city. Can come in and have won nothing. And just splash the cash. Well no two millions no splash in the cash, but Aberdeen I mean Aberdeen couldn't even come in with two penny shoes for anyone, let alone fucking And and Sam Crosgrove said when he when he seen a club like Birmingham come in, it was a no brainer. That's an actual quote. A no-brainer. How's it a no-brainer to leave Aberdeen to Birmingham? I mean, that's like saying, no, I don't want a McDonald's. I'll fucking see that empty crisp packet in the street. I'll, I'll, I'll eat the crumbs at that and put it in the bin. I mean, come on. It just makes zero sense to me. Is it, I mean, but, I mean, it'd be different. I mean, I wouldn't say it'd be different, but it's not like they're not in a forest or like a Leeds. Yeah. It's fucking Birmingham. Have they got any the real... The best thing they did was win the League Cup against Arsenal. And get relegated in the same season. Had Harry Redknapp touching kids for them. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? I, I didn't go to Celtic. Yeah, well, he would have loved it there. I just don't really understand it. Aberdeen now, left without, in my opinion, a decent striker. They've got uh, Bob Anderson. Who and, sounds like an NWA 80s wrestler. And Curtis Main, who, in my opinion, was just a terrible buy of Mullerwell. Never, fucking shit. Never really seen that. Never killed Barisic. Never really seen the appeal in signing Curtis Main. I think Aberdeen will struggle now. They've been struggling to score goals all season. I mean, the, the last, like, ten matches, I think five of them have been nil-nil draws. And now they've sent sell their main man. So, to me, they will struggle. I know Sam Crossgrove wasn't really having the greatest season ever at Aberdeen, but let's be real. Aberdeen weren't, weren't having their greatest season, so I don't think it's fair to blame it on Cosgrove. But he has left for £2 million. He's happy to be at Birmingham. And it's, I think it's a major blow for Aberdeen. Would you say two million's good? I mean, it's all right for Scottish clubs, but I mean, I think maybe eighteen a year, eighteen months ago, this guy would have been about five. I know, but this is what gets me. See these people though that are talking about like oh, Morelos and Edward, they'd only go for fifteen. I, I don't mind Cosgrove, right? But see if he can go for two, and realistically, I think he could have went for about five. Morelos and Edward should be in the tyranny fucking bracket. Well, how Cosgrove's goal record was just as impressive as theirs. <laughs> but he's fucking nowhere near as good as him. But he's a goal scorer. That's like, that's like saying Kane. That's like saying Harry Kane's not as good as Aguero. You know what I mean? Like oh, you're fucking right. Oh, I know, but I mean he still scores goals, which is pivotal. But anyway, fuck. You're seeing your blue snowballs missing a leg. Jesus Christ. Um, fuck Harry Kane. Fuck Sam Crossgrove. He's no longer in Scotland. We'll never talk about him again. But apparently Aberdeen are in a wee bit of financial crisis here, so. Maybe they really, maybe they need it to make that deal. I mean, I know they're funding this new stadium, which in my opinion is a waste of money. They can't even sell out the current stadium. What's the point of spending all that money? Would the, I think the fans, and I think it would make more sense for the club to actually spend that money on the on the squad, try and improve the players, try and get closer to Rangers and Celtic. Yep. Then worry about getting a better stadium. But they haven't done that. Although to replace Sam Crosgrove, they have tried to uh, sign Fraser Hornby on loan. Who, I mean... I think he's a decent player. I think he's alright, like, but is he really going to come in? Oh, fuck. Is he really going to come in and um, take over for Sam Crosgrove, who, to be fair, wasn't scoring goals, but we all know he's capable of goals, so it remains to be seen. But Aberdeen, not having a great season, already sold McKenna, now they're sold Cam uh, Sam Crosgrove. Scott Wright will be leaving at the end of the season to join the rivals Rangers, and Aberdeen, in my opinion, will be lucky if they can hold on to Ford, so not a good season for them. Speaking of Birmingham, and being shite, they've also put a £3 million bid in for Kevin Nisbet. Now, I think that's very strange. Kevin Nisbet might be having a better season than Sam Cosgrove, but is he really... Is he not a lot younger? Is he, well, is he worth a million more, really? I mean, if you could take one player out of Cosgrove and Nisbet to Rangers, I mean, would you really take Nisbet? Uh, I don't know. I like, I like Nisbet. 
people think he's better than Shane. Well, I don't. Seeing our career mode, he's fucking shite. So I'm going to say not in this, but I'm surprised if Bayern rejected 3 million. That's more than they got for McGinn. And there's no fucking way in this, but it's better than McGinn. Well, fair play to them. Yeah, no, I know I always I, I, I know I'm always slag the Scottish teams for letting their players go too cheap, but you know what, fair play to Hibs, maybe they'll be able to get five million in the summer or whatever, but and hey, Cape Nesbitt could be a difference between Hibs getting four for third. But Birmingham says that they believe any more than three million is an unrealistic amount that Hibs are hoping for, so that deal looks like it's out the window. And well, hold on, if if that's the truth, why would why would Birmingham come straight in with a three million bid? Well apparently that was their last bid. Oh right, no, that's um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Celtic are interested in signing Ben Davis at the centre back from Ipswich and um, or not Ipswich, Derby County or whatever fucking shitey team he plays for down south. And apart from that, man, that's no it. Rangers haven't been doing much transfer news at all. Still crying over Morelos getting a wee comment on Hibs TV. So that's pretty much the only news coming to Ibrox at the moment. Out of order, guys. Although I guess the news that. 55 has been completed. I mean, we've known that for about a month now, so that's not really news either. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. All the news is about Aberdeen, Hibs and Birmingham at the moment. So, aye, will be an interesting race to the end of the season. Hibs, Aberdeen, for third place, who have you got? Could be second. Um, yeah, it could be Livingston or St Mirren, but don't know. I'm going with Livingston. It's going to be an interesting end to the season. I, I think Hibs will probably get it now. No what annoys me, though? Look at Celtic's season, right? They, you, they will not get a worse season, in my opinion. And no one can challenge them. Yeah. What's Derek McKinn's well, going to do? I think if Lennon's there next season, they'll do yeah, worse, well. but he won't be. Well, What's Derek McKinn's going to do? I mean, is he going to stay and, and try and rebuild that Aberdeen team, which will need rebuilt, or will he decide to leave? I don't know, guys. Who knows? Let us know what you think down below. It's time for Tierney Robertson, so until then. Peace.